Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is a sawtooth wave. Actually, I think they should call it a shark tooth wave. It looks more like a shark tooth. Anyway, what we're trying to find here is the RMS current and we're trying to find the average power. So let's see here that we have a current here that's defined by that function right there or that graph right there. And again, we're going to find the RMS current using the same general format. And in this case, what we need to do here is find how to integrate over a sawtooth. And of course, that gives us two functions. We have the left slope and we have the right slope. The left slope here can be defined by I1 being equal to 10t, and the right slope can be defined by I2 being equal to minus 10t plus 20. Notice the slope is negative, and then we can see that the intercept over here would happen at I equals 20. But if we're smart about it, notice I already have a dashed line there, we can integrate only half the tooth because there's perfect symmetry between the left and the right side of the tooth. So the RMS current for the left side will equal the RMS current for the right side, which means when we integrate from zero to the period, we can actually integrate from zero to one and call the period one, because that way we have an easier job at hand and we can simply assume then that the RMS current is the same for both sides of the tooth. Then of course the function becomes 10t, we're going to square that, times dt divided by the period, integrate from zero to one, and need the radical. That makes it pretty simple. So IRMS is equal to, let's pull the 10 out, that gives us uh, 10 squared, which is 10 times the square root of the integral from zero to one, t squared dt divided by one, which is equal to 10 times the square root of t cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to 1. If we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. Plug in the upper limit, we get 10 times the square root of 1 over 3. All right, what's that equal to? Okay, we get um, 1 divided by 3, take the square root times 10, we get 5.77. So IRMS is equal to 5.77 amps. All right, now that we have the RMS current, let's find the average power delivered to the resistor. And so we can see here that average power is equal to IRMS squared times the resistance. So this would be 5.77. We square that times the resistance of six ohms. So let's see what that's equal to. So we square that times six, and we get exactly 200 watts. So the power delivered, or the average power delivered, not the instantaneous power, but the average power delivered to the resistors, 200 watts, with an IRMS, an RMS current of 5.77 amps. And that's how that's done. 